Are you tired of flushing your money down the toilet? Introducing the new Moen Dual Flush Water Saving Toilet Conversion Kit. Convert a 13 liter toilet to a water saving dual flush toilet in minutes, saving you up to 35,000 liters per year. No special tools required and no need to call a plumber. The dual action handle allows for a half flush for liquid waste and a full flush for solid waste. The kit includes both chrome and white tank levers to fit with any bathroom decor. Install the new dual flush water saving toilet conversion kit in three easy steps. That's all there is to it. Choose your flush and start saving water and money. A full step-by-step -step instructional video will follow. Welcome to the instructional video for the installation of Moen's Dual Flush Toilet Conversion Kit, allowing you to quickly and easily convert a 13-liter toilet to a dual flush water-saving toilet. The Dual Flush Toilet Conversion Kit will allow you to save water, up to 35,000 liters per year based on an average use for a family of four. For successful installation, your current toilet must have a 2-inch flush valve with a flapper that is 3 inches from edge to edge and have an overflow tube as shown here. Finally, your tank lever must be mounted on the front of your toilet. The dual action handle allows for a half flush for liquid waste or a full flush for solid waste. The dual flush kit comes with both the chrome and white handles. Choose your preference before beginning the installation. The flush control box and flapper with air hose work together to regulate the speed of the flapper closing, determining how much water is used for each flush. The control lever on the top of the box will allow you to easily regulate the water flow for optimal performance and savings. You will require a pair of scissors and pliers before getting started. To begin the quick and easy installation, Turn the water supply off and flush to drain the water from the tank, removing as much water as possible. After removing the tank lid, remove the existing tank lever by unhooking the flapper chain from the lever arm and removing the nut inside the tank that is attached to the lever. It is important to note that you should be turning the nut in a reverse threaded direction. You may require pliers for this. Unhook the ears of the flapper from the bottom of the flush valve and remove the flapper. The kit comes pre-assembled with a chrome handle. Remove the blue nut at the back of the control box and slide the handle out. If you choose to install the white lever, Slide the shank screw onto the stem of the chosen handle, ensuring that the notch on the shank screw aligns with the slot on the handle. Once together, insert the lever shank through the lever hole on the front of the toilet, keeping the lever facing to the left. Place the white nut on the lever shank with the flat side towards the toilet tank wall and turn the nut clockwise until it is flush and tight to the tank wall. Place the control box inside the toilet and line up the larger hole on the front with the lever shank. Ensure the blue min-max lever is on the right side of the top of the control box. Place the blue nut on the threaded lever shank at the back of the control box with the flat side towards the toilet tank wall and tighten. The assembled unit should look as shown. Check your old flapper for the ring that is located between the ears. If the ring is intact, slide the ring over the overflow tube and push the dual flush flapper down to the base. If your old flapper does not have this ring as shown, simply cut the ring from the new dual flush flapper using scissors on the cut lines as marked on the flapper. Hook the ears of the flapper onto the hooks at the bottom of the overflow tube. When attaching the flapper chain to the brass arm of the tank lever, choose the hole that will allow the chain to have just a small amount of slack. If necessary, remove the hook from the flapper chain and move a few links down to achieve the optimal chain slack.
The air tube is used to control the speed at which the flapper closes, regulating the water uses for each flush. Attach one end to the top of the flapper. Bring the air tube up to the blue 90 degree elbow on the control box. If the air tube extends more than 2 inches past the 90 degree elbow, cut the remaining air tube beyond the 2 inch allowable excess. Attach the other end of the tube to the blue 90 degree elbow at the top of the control box. Turn the water back on to fill the tank. The water flow regulator located on the top of the control box controls the water usage for the half flush for liquid waste. Turning the blue lever to the min level uses the least amount of water per flush. Turning it completely to the max level uses the most amount of water per flush. Keep in mind that when set at the max level, the half flush is still saving water. Based on the water pressure in the home, adjust the level between min and max to find the desired performance. The installation is now complete. Replace the tank lid. Remember that the longer lever is a half flush for liquid waste and the shorter inside lever is a full flush for solid waste. Congratulations on your purchase and successful installation of the Moen Dual Flush Toilet Conversion Kit. You will be reducing your water consumption, saving yourself money and conserving our natural resources. If you still have questions or require additional support, please contact Moen Technical Support at 1-800-465-6130 or email dualflush at moen.com.